Uh, as you have seen, the last pick did not have much of background and we could not, you know, see the real results as well just to show how it works. Uh, let us try one more pick and uh, see if uh, see the real see how different the pick becomes after editing with this application. Let's see. Let's open a pick with a lot of background noise and a lot of background. So we'll first select the foreground that is me of course and the background that is rest of everybody else and then uh, just the medium. this is the midline okay and just we'll sharpen up our background and now we're ready to go to the next once you go to next you can see uh, how these guys are like how the whole background has now been effectively blurred now this is this pic shows the of the impact of this application very clearly and if you see the medium ground is not that good I mean, a lot of people who should have been blurred are still not being blurred. So let's just remove this medium lines also. Just make the blur effect more stronger. And and my neck, background. Remove these guys from the background. Take a minute and yeah, let's go next and see. This looks good. And this just one more thing to do is remove this. There's like a little fine tuning involved with this. Um, no. Good things come at some price at least. This is how I, you know, try to console myself for all the hard work that I do every time I need to get a good pick. But still, it's worth it. Okay, this one more second. And here you go, everything is blurred out, and things are the only thing in the focus is me. There's some little bag there, let's remove that, and let's see. Yep, now you can see how much the effect of this blurring happens. It's just me in the focus, and everything else looks blurred out. The strength of this looks good, but if you need to strengthen the blur effect, you can do that as well. So the blur effect will go more stronger. But I think the default one is good enough. And we'll stick with that. We can add bokeh effect if we want. If we need that, that doesn't give much difference. Now here you can see what natural fading would be like. That you know the things closer to you would fade it would be a little less faded and the things further away from the focus area would be faded more. Or you can go for a manual blur where you know where you choose yourself as the main focus area and everything else apart from that will still will get blurred slowly. And then you can add your filters like you can make the background black and white. See that gives a very good effect in this picture. So except you everything else is in black and white. This gives a good effect. Uh, this and uh, this would be selectively for the background only. And you would still be in the focus. And, and uh, you can change the you know effect of the foreground itself. But I don't generally see a point in changing the effects in the foreground and once again let's just expand this a little bit and this focus area a little bit you can see how this turns out to be it turns out good and the uh, fading manual and 
a little more bigger yeah. correct no make it natural fade yeah this looks good This looks good and now we can save this pic and if you want we can add some vision thing to it but that's all personal choice of how someone likes the pic I add a little bit of vision thing to it and we can save it and this is saved now we can see the difference we can compare both the pics and see the difference storage after focus and this is the second pic we'll just copy it copy and we can put it into dlsr test results and then we'll see the difference this is the pic with the blurred background and this is pic which all the background is present and you know all the noise of the background is present and here it's all gone looks good enough to me i mean depends on your choice if you want something like this you have need you have a very blurry background that is like taking away the charm of your personal photo you can use this application to you know get the get rid of this background and get a good blur effect on your photo hope you guys would have found this application useful and you could use it for your uh, photos. Do like and share the videos if you found this helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.